Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book tag. Yeah, I'm just as surprised as you are. This is uh, the first one that I have done in well over a year. Um, I can't remember the last one that I did. Um, if, I, if, if I can find it, um, I will throw it up at the end of the video. Um, or I'll, if I have a book tag playlist, I'll, I'll link to there. But anyways, today we are doing one from Raul Reads. Uh, he is a relatively new channel to me. My friend JB Taylor told me about him. Um, I think JB did this tag. It's called the Can You Adapt It tag, but Raul um, created this himself. Um, and we are going to jump in, just jump right into it. I'm gonna try not to do a whole lot of cutting um, just because I've been doing so much lately. Even with the new editor, um, I can't send him everything because not all of it's, you know, long enough to, to justify sending it off to him. But so the for number one, I will also leave the questions down there for anybody who wants to jump in on this. I will tag one or two people at the end. I think only one because I have one sp sp specific person in mind that, uh, that I want to see do this if they haven't already. So number one, what is your favorite book adaptation? It is Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy. I absolutely love it. Um, I don't think it's a perfect adaptation. I don't think it needs to be. I think uh, Jackson changed things around enough that uh, that it was a it's its own entity while uh, staying faithful to the book. Now, The Hobbit was absolute garbage, but uh, Lord of the Rings, I really loved it. Um, I, I can sit and watch the extended editions. Yeah, the three and four hour versions back to back to back um, it is one of those films that never gets old for me. Um, and the only reason why Howard the Duck isn't here is because I don't believe that Howard the Duck is anywhere near a good adaptation of like the comics or whatever. Um, but it is a, it is my favorite movie of all time. So if you want to if, if you're going to give me a pass, I would say Howard the Duck, but I'm going to go with Lord of the Rings because I think it is a fantastic adaptation. So number two, uh, what is your least favorite adaptation? This one is recent. Uh, this one upset me greatly. I have still not been able to finish this movie. I get about 15 minutes at a time and I just turn it off because I am unbearably bored. And that is The Goldfinch. Uh, the book is written by Donna Tart, and without Donna Tart's words on the page and her beautiful prose, this movie is hollow. It has, uh, it, it seems to want to be art. It wants to be something beautiful. It just completely fails for me. Um, I can't, like I said, I can't watch more than 15 minutes at a time. I, I either fall asleep or I get up and go do something else or I start reading. <laughs> I'll pick up my phone and start reading something or pick up a book and start reading it. I just completely space out. So yeah, The Goldfinch, I'm pretty sure there's worse ones out there. Um, also, none of this stuff is going to be Stephen King. If you want Stephen, if you want a list that is all Stephen King for this can can you adapt it uh, tag? Let me know down there in the doobly-doo. I'd be happy to make it. But I wanted to stay away from King because if I used King, every single one of these things would be King. Um, if you could, number three, if you could adapt any book, which one would it be and why? Gone South, easy. Um, I would change a couple things with Gone South. I would make uh, the uh, the girl with uh, the birthmark, I would have her, I would change her to uh, uh, someone with vit uh, vitiligo. Um, you know, have instead of a wine birthmark, I would have a, a, a skin condition where, you know, patchy piebald sections of, you know, brown flesh and pale flesh. I, I would do that instead. Um, and I'd probably update it to be a different war than Vietnam. I don't know. Um, but that's... <laughs> It's one of it's one of those books that I have always seen so vividly and so clearly in my mind that I think it would be super easy to adapt. I think it'd be a blast to see it on screen, especially that opening man, uh, the air smell to burning children, something like that. That opening line is absolutely killer. So number four, um, what's one adaptation that was portrayed perfectly? I'm gonna say you. Uh, Caroline Kepnes's You, the Netflix special, or Lifetime, whatever, whatever you want. I think it's just Netflix now. But uh, I think You was absolutely perfect. It got all the themes, all the, I, I think it landed everything exceptionally well. Um, I, I loved the casting of Joe, of Beck, of uh, everybody. Peach, is it Peach? Peaches? I can't remember. But uh, Peaches Sal Salinger, because it's uh, J.D. Salinger's daughter, or not daughter, but like, anyways, whatever. But, uh, 
it was it was a perfect adaptation. I think the casting was absolutely brilliant in both the first one and the second one. Even if season two strayed quite a bit from Hidden Bodies, I still enjoyed it and I enjoyed the new characters that they added onto it. I just feel like the whole thing is just adapt adapted fantastically. It's not it doesn't quite beat out Lord of the Rings for me though. So while I think while I think Lord of the Rings is my favorite adaptation, you is a very very close second. Uh, next up, if you could star in any book adaptation, which one would it be and which character would you like to play? Um, so I've thought about this a lot. Uh, one of one of the characters that speaks to me the most, if I was going to be an actor and if I was going to go out and do it, and I may not fit the role whatsoever, I may do a horrible job, but I would love to play the judge in Blood Meridian. That's one of those characters that has always haunted me. I've never seen a character portrayed, a, a character like that portrayed I don't want to say properly or that I would even do it properly, but I would have a lot of fun trying. I think that's what I'm trying to say. It, it's one of those and it, it, it's one of those roles that I think would be a, a once in a lifetime uh, role for any actor. Um, uh, fortunately, I'm no actor. <laughs> I'm not an actor, but I would love to see that movie made and I would love to see uh, the judge portrayed by someone who could do it justice. But if I had my choice in a perfect world, I would be given the shot to try it. That's where I'm at. So uh, number six, when it comes to adapting a novel, uh, what's your preferred media, TV, miniseries, or a film? Uh, I have absolutely no preference here um, whatsoever. I like uh, movie adaptations. I like uh, TV show adaptations, all that stuff. Um, my current favorite TV adaptation, of course, you. Um, I, I'm also enjoying Hannibal, but it's not really an adaptation as it is a completely new vision because they like blend Hannibal the book with uh, Red Dragon. They blend all different kinds of stuff. I mean, Dollar Hyde and uh, Verger are both in the same season. It's crazy, man. Absolutely nuts, but it works so well. Um, Brian Fuller and uh, De Laurentiis and all them that worked on it, I think they did a fantastic job. Um, the, the last season is not my favorite, but I did enjoy it enough. Um, am I one of those people who think the series should continue on? No, I don't. I think uh, it was a flash in the pan. It was perfect for, for what it was. And I think even the third season was too much. If you disagree, go ahead, just let me have it down there in the doobly-doo. I know I'm going to have a lot of a lot of Will and Hannibal shippers in here going, oh my God, I can't stand your... Yeah, I understand. It's okay. Just all down there in the comments. All right, number seven. If you could change anything from a recent adaptation, what would it be? This isn't even out yet. But I am I, I'm I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna upset some people because I upset some people on Twitter. Dune. Uh the I don't know, I I don't understand as a huge fan of the movie, not the movie, the book. I think it's a master class in omniscient narrative. I don't like the look of the new film whatsoever. It looks like Rogue One, it looks like the Star Wars movies, it looks overly produced, um, even for sci-fi. Um, it just looks, I, I, I hate the colors of it. It's a very boring looking movie. It's just browns and blacks and grays. And I understand why, because you know, the, the plant, it's just the whole theme of the thing, but yeah, uh, it's what doesn't look good to me at all. No interest whatsoever. And the guy playing a trade, uh, Atreus, Atre Atreides, Paul Atreides, um, the guy playing Atreides, no. I don't know. Is it Timothy Chalamet or whatever? And he playing Wonka also? I don't know who the who the person is. But I looked at the, I literally laughed at the television. Well, actually, it was my computer. I laughed at, laughed at my uh, computer screen uh, because I saw that. I was like, oh, that can't be Paul. That can't be Paul. Went and looked and it was Paul. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> anyway, so uh, next up is eight. Is there a book adaptation better than the actual book? If so, which one? I almost said the magical boy wizard. Um, I'm not getting into that. I don't even want to, I, I don't want to bring in either crowd, you know, the, the, the turfs or the anti-turfs. I don't want that. So I'm not going to mention that at all. What I am going to say is those, those movies were better than any of the books for me. And I didn't even like the movies. So that's why I changed my, uh, my, my answer. And my answer is the witches of Eastwick. Um, if you read, uh, was it update update? Hang on, it's sitting right, yeah. If you read John Updike's novel, it's got some really, really stupid shit in it. Some exceedingly stupid shit, like uh, women, women's plumbings are like a labyrinthine crazy stuff. There's some dumb stuff in there for a book that is very, that ha is about three women. Uh, very stupid, misogynistic stuff, just uninformed stuff. But on top of that, the movie, but actually not on top of that, but the movie, I had so much fun with. 
Um, the ending's better than the book. So many scenes are much better than the book. I think the book was too sexual, um, which is funny because the movie is too, but and there was some stuff uh, they're, they're talking about doing certain things. So I just, I could care less. I'd rather watch Cher and Susan Sarandon and uh, whoever the other one is and uh, Jack Nicholson, you know, mess around on screen than I would read this book. Um, even though I, I think I gave the book three stars. It's got its issues. It's an okay read, but I, I really enjoyed the movie and I enjoyed the movie leaps and bounds above the uh, the book all right so the last one is not a question at all but it does say can you tag it tag your friends so i am going to tag uh, booktube goddess uh if you don't know booktube goddess you really should you, you need to go over to her channel you need to check her out um the number one uh drag queen on booktube i think is she the only one it might not be i don't know but uh I, I think that's the running joke uh the best uh drag queen on book two uh she's absolutely fantastic and i i get a kick out of the editing the the costumes the the skits the reviews my favorite thing she does is the uh uh shove it or shelve it or shove it or shove it whatever it is with that's my favorite thing because i i don't know there's something about that series that really speaks to me and i want to do it myself but I'm, I'm a mood reader, so I don't, if I set up something to go and read ahead of time, like what I'm going to read in the next month, I might read one of them. I'm definitely not going to read all of them. Sometimes I won't, won't read any of them. That's why I don't, I try not to do TBRs because I always let people down. But anyways, so that was the Can You Adapt It? Uh, thank you so much to Raul for making this, this tag. I really enjoyed it, hence the reason I picked it and the reason why I'm willing to do it, uh, an entire Stephen King version for you, uh, you constant readers out there if you want to. Um, thanks to JB for putting this tag on my radar. But until next time, I have been E. You have been you. This has been another book tag. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.